Hi friends, in check buttons, user can select more than one available options, whereas in radio buttons, the user can select any one of the available options. We'll see how by using check buttons, we can get the user selection, whether the state of the checkbox or the checked or unchecked, or how to change the state of the checkbox to check or uncheck. We'll learn all those things. This is our basic window. In this, we'll now first uh, place one check button. Check button, parent window is my W. Now let's say what text should appear. Text is, let's say, you can write anything. Agree, now variable, variable is, let's, uh, we're not yet declared, but we'll declare now. C1, V1, then on value. On value is when it is checked, you what should be the value it should retain. Then off value. No, let's go to next line. On value, off value. Now that is fine. Now we'll say command. Command is this is the function we'll uh, execute when the when the uh, checkbox status changed to check to uncheck or uncheck to check. Now here we have declared one string variable that will declare it before. So our c1 underscore v1, this is our sorry string variable of my window. Now fine. Now before uh, where we will display the output of the what the user has selected. For that we will pick up one uh, label. So let's give it as l1 equal to tk dot label now parent window my w now here we'll say text variable the value which will be the label will take the value from now let's say l1 underscore v1 now this is the text variable now we'll, uh, one more thing is we'll add a, f a little higher size font here also we'll say font is equal to 18 so slightly high so it will be visible Okay, now we'll place it on a grid, grid and row is equal to, let's say one row is, let's put it in second row and column equal to one. Now that our check button also, we'll place it on a grid, C1, sorry, C1 dot grid, that is the first row, we'll use it, row, then column equal to one. Now this we are not so far coded the function so any check or uncheck value will generate error. So let's just see how it looks. Yeah, so this is coming up but any change in value will trigger the error because we are not coded the function. Now let me just write my function define the function my update. What you will write it inside is you'll first read the value and set it to the our label at the that string variable l1 v1 so l1 v1 we have declared it here but used it but not declared so l1 underscore v1 this is equal to our string variable string var my w now inside the function this l1 underscore v1 will set to what that we will set it to whatever the check button variable that is c1 underscore v1 it is here variable we have set it here declare it above that this dot get now based on the status whether it is checked or unchecked we have declared it here the on value and off value this yes or no will be carried to l1 v1 set and the same will be displayed here text variable so the label will display there if everything fine let's see now yeah i agree now let me just change it yes now no i left again put it yes no so whatever the status it is uh, reading off value and on value and accordingly the value is displayed on the label we'll learn now how to set the value to check or uncheck for that we will create one main and a copy so whatever the main status it is checked then copy will be checked if it is unchecked the copy will be unchecked so i just cop copied the above code and pasted it here we'll change this code a bit 
will not go for uh, second one like this second one a string variable okay we'll change the label to a another check button we'll use so let's use copy this code paste it here this is c2 check button 2 text uh, or the first one will say main then here yes and no let's make an uppercase fine no then here main and then copy here also value yes no fine there is no need of command for the second one because there is uh, we are not triggering uh, adding any event to this now here we will say column 2 fine now here variable is c2 v1 now c2 v1 is a string variable we'll declare it here c2 v1 equal to tk dot sorry string var my w fine so this is connected to this on value is yes no now we'll set this values so the checkbox will be by default will be neither check or uncheck c2 dot v1 dot set i will say no so by default and here also the first one also we will say c1 underscore v1 dot set will say it also no so it will both will be unchecked state now here we will say instead of l1 it will be now c1 and v1 this value is set whatever the value of c1 v1 gets c1 v1 is the first checkbox c sorry this should be c2 c2 v1 is the second checkbox string variable that value is set to first checkbox value so this is the function which will update it and update on value yes of value no c sorry this one will be our grid is c2 the green we placed the second checkbox right of it the first checkbox so we can the code is total code is here now let's run this let's see yeah so if i click main the copy is also clicked if i uncheck it this is unchecked now i click it again the same this is how we'll set or unset a check button you can see it this function is executed with this function whenever the first command here i have written my update so this this one c1 v1 get will read the value for the first checkbox or the main checkbox checks button here and then the same value is set to c2 v1 c2 v1 is the declared here a eh, sorry declared here and it is set and thus it is connected to the second check button at this stage c2 v1 so whatever the value of first checkbox same is getting copied to the second one now we learn how to read multiple selection values of, of the user uh, and then design a string and display it we have just copied the entire code whatever we are written now place it and now we'll go for slightly we'll change the code the first one will let's give us php fine now the on value is php again off value will keep it blank blank so because user has if it's not selected it it will be blank so row one column one now let me just copy it okay second one also it's same thing c2 v1 now here we'll say python python now on value is again python off value is blank c2 v1 now it is placed at the right of the one we'll go for one more one more string variable and a c2 now let's say paste it here now this is <coughs> c3 so we'll give c3 v1 c3 v1 is will set it to blank see all values will are setting it to blank <coughs> 
uh, on value of value is blank here it is c3 now we'll say c3 python now let's third one will say html variable is c3 v1 on value is html of value will set it to blank yeah it's set to blank so c3 v1 now we'll place it to the right so column 3 of it now after this c1 c2 we have set it to c2 v1 c2 v1 string variable we declared now before that c1 okay here also we'll set it to blank of value is blank again now all the three string variables are declared now we want to display it we can just see it also you can see python what about the third one html okay here we have missed the grid fine now it should show us the three values fine now once we check this one where will be the checked values will be displayed it will be displayed as a label so let's uh, declare one more string variable we'll say l1 underscore v1 equal to tk dot string var it's my window fine now l1 uh, l1 equal to tk dot label now parent window is my w now the string variable is uh, text variable variable is our l1 underscore v1 this is the variable just above line we have declared it now let's uh, put it in our grid l1 grid now this is in row 2 below that row 2 column equal to 1 and column span equal to 3 it let its uh, width be increased or span to increase so it can display it, uh, all the values properly so now that is fine we'll l1 v1 okay now the function will program it you can see that the function is my update my update slightly will change we already it is there this will be now this is l1 v1 this is the label st uh, string variable we are using it is c1 v1 get c1 v1 get means the first checkbox plus c2 v1 sorry v1 dot get the second checkbox value plus the third checkbox value c3 v1 dot get now in between slightly we'll add some filler or some space also so we'll add it here now here also slightly we'll add a blank space to differentiate between the values c1 v1 c2 v1 c3 v1 those three string variables data we are taking it c1 v1 c2 v1 c3 v1 now um, row this is also this is where the uh, our label will be displayed so this should work let's just run this and see yeah now suppose php yeah php python python is not going here let me see okay now okay the reason is we have not added the update command here what happened this command should be added to all the second or first and second is first one it is already there second one it is not there so we'll add it here command my update c2 now for c3 also we'll add it here fine now so the events are triggered now let's see again so php now python python has come html html now let me remove python python is removed php is removed only html is checked this i can uncheck it also i can add anything so based on this i can this is how i will read a multiple selections from the user and use it in any program we will understand how to enable and disable a checkbox so just copy the code again so this uh, label will remove and the third one also is not required we'll remove it we'll keep two only by using one will enable and disable the second one so up to here it is fine c1 string variable one so let's say this is enable on value is yes we'll say enable or disable 
of value is seeing and rest of the things are fine now we'll go for second one second one is string variable second one anything because it has to follow only we don't require a command there so we'll remove this it has to follow the whatever we set it for the first one so this is c2 only now once the button is clicked first we'll read we'll remove this line if now the condition now c1 v1 dot get equal to sorry c1 v1 get equal to let me close first yeah its value will be on value will be yes now we will say if it is yes now in this case now c2 c2 is our second checkbox config c2 dot config state equal to disabled disabled fine now this is done else suppose if it is not so else let me just copy this normal so this should be else now it will come here now i'll write normal find that uh, c2 config state is normal c2 is here c1 okay let's try now enable disable the first one okay it is disabled now second one okay so through the first checkbox we are enabling and disabling the second one you can see that now if suppose i have a group of uh, selection say i can say that uh, you have to out of three you have to select two only and moment you reach the second the third one should be disabled let's see the example first <laughs> 